guy. Who's that guy? Who's that guy? It's Slater. Good morning, class. Again, thank you so much for joining us here in room 5150 here at I Rock You. Uh, this week on the quiz, there will be some discussion of births inside the world of rock and roll. Uh, some of you need to be aware of uh, Mr. David Gilmore from Pink Floyd. Uh, turned 71 years young this week. Uh, Jeff Ament, the bassist from Pearl Jam, is turning 54. Vinny, Paul, Abbott, of course, he's the uh, drummer and uh, one of the founders of the band Pantera. Uh, he turns 53. Of course, he's the current drummer for the band Hell Yeah. Uh, extra credit if you can identify his other band uh, that he was in with his brother. Damage plan, damage plan, damage plan. Uh, as we go from births all the way to the opposite inside the world of rock, which would be deaths, um, some deaths you need to be aware of. Inside chapter 12, inside the world of rock and roll, uh, you've got Allison Chains, uh, bass player Mike Starr, dying of a uh, drug overdose uh, at age 44 back in 2011. And Mr. Randy Blythe was acquitted of manslaughter. You might recall there, uh, there, there were some uh, issues when the band was playing over in the Czech, Pro uh, Czech Republic. Uh, one of the uh, issues was that he actually pushed a fan to his death at a concert. Uh, he was arrested in 2012 when he returned to the, to the country, but he was uh, exonerated and uh, all is well. And on top of that, ACDC's uh, current lineup, you can pretty much say they died uh, about a year ago back in 2016 as uh, Brian Johnson was warned he was going deaf and he could not uh, perform. But ironically, it was not uh, due to loud rock and roll music that hurt his ears, it was actually the fact that he was racing cars. That's one of his big hobbies, so that's how he ended up uh, contributing pretty much to the death of ACDC. As we go on inside the world of rock and roll, there will be a couple of uh, quizzes concerning events inside the world of rock and roll. Uh, I believe there will be some true and false questions uh, concerning albums that came out this week in the world of rock. You've got Soundgarden's Super Unknown coming out in 1994. The Downward Spiral from Nine Inch Nails also came out in 1994. Gravity Kills, who was a one-time WCCC Rock Expo band, uh, they put out their Industrial Electronica self-titled album uh, back in 1996 this week. Black Label Society put out 1919 Eternal. Korn had their MTV Unplugged album come out uh, in 2007. Aerosmith had just pushed play in 2001. And Quiet Riot's Metal Health, the Monster album, came out this week back in 1983. That being said, Mr. Iomi, you will be responsible for snacks next week. So please make sure they're healthy. It is Slater. <laughs>